We've all heard the story before. Mike Miski wants to kill the boy he thinks is responsible for his son's death. Personally, I don't buy it. To me, Mike let all that power get to his head. He believed his own hype. It's an incredible thing when you believe the lies you tell yourself in your own head. And it happens to a lot of people with power. It happens to kings, politicians, sometimes even cops. One of the things I questioned about myself when I was a cop was, do my friends really like me for me? Or even if they do like me now, did they only start liking me because they knew I was a cop? Did I have an advantage because of the power I had? These are questions that you think about when you have an advantage over other people. You can feel it. For cops, they got to know that the reason they're respected is the badge that they're wearing. And we've all seen it. The little cop with the big mouth who says things to people who would snap them in half if they weren't wearing their badge. Somewhere down the line, that guy or girl, they believed the hype. It's annoying and it's dangerous, honestly. The other cops see it. They don't like it. They don't like going to cases with that guy because they've lost touch with reality. They bought into the lies that they told themselves, the lies that they represent. It happens anywhere people have access to power. We've all had that one boss who only never got punched in the mouth because he could fire you. And I think that's what Mike did. He saw the girls falling at his feet. He thought it was his good looks, his charisma. He thought the power that he had was inherent in his blood, endless. He thought it was his. But the truth is, those girls tolerated him because of his money, because of his access to powerful people. They saw the nightclub. They saw the businesses. They saw the opportunities. And the men around Mike, they just saw him as a co-signer, someone they could use for leverage, access to power, money. Mike thought it was real. Mike thought it was him. He thought it was in him. And I know it got to his head because who in their right mind does the horrible things that he did and yet allows more than a dozen people to know secrets that could end him? There's always snakes in the grass. And you got to keep your grass short. It wasn't Mike they were loyal to. It wasn't Mike who they liked. It wasn't Mike who they worshipped. It wasn't his boldness. It wasn't Mike's talent. It wasn't his good looks or his strength. It was the money. It was the power. And those things can leave you in an instant. It got to Mike's head and he got sloppy. He told the lies. And then he believed them. I don't buy that he killed Johnny because he thought Johnny was responsible for the death of his son Caleb. I could be wrong. But I think that Mike killed Johnny because he knew too much. He was too close. Mike was a bully and Johnny was an easy target. Of course, Mike had to tell everybody it was because of the accident. He had to tell them that because if they knew the truth, if they knew that Johnny was just a loose end and that he knew too much, 
then they would know that one day they just might be next. Thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you think in the comments. And until the next time, aloha.